I thought I'd take a minute to spend a little bit of time with you and let you know after one full week and a day of technical rehearsals here at the Cadillac Palace, what it has been like. And let me tell you, as always, with a big Broadway-bound musical, here we are in the Windy City, my hometown, and we are unpacking and unfolding a piece of enormous range and scope. Let me tell you, it is a huge job. It's very exciting. I wish you could see what it's like to be out in the audience when the audience is not there and all of the theater artists are gathered row after row after row, banks of computers, small lights glowing all over the theater. There's the sound department, the choreography department, the projection department, the lighting department, the directing department, the music department, the writer's table, the producer's table, uh, the set designer's table, the props table. We all have tables that are ranged around inside of the house. And we're all in the dark theater. You know, we're cave dwellers during this period. And we are mesmerized, concentrating on that magical frame of the stage. We work very long hours. I usually get here to the theater uh, sometime before 10 in the morning and I, I don't see the light of day on, and I don't get out usually until close to 11 at, at night. And this is day after day. This is six days a week and we have a day off coming tomorrow and then we have one more day off before we go into a period of about 16 days without a single day off. We have what we call, and it comes from opera, zitz probe. It's not what you think. It's not about the complexion. It's about sitting with the orchestra and probing through the score without any staging so that the maestro can balance and the sound department can balance the relationship between the vocal performance and the orchestral performance. Enormously important to do in a big show like this with a cast of 40 and a large orchestra and a very rich through composed. You know, the Pirate Queen, like Les Miserables and Miss Saigon, is through composed, which means there's almost no dialogue. The music is ongoing, keys change, numbers flow into one another, so it's a seamless outpouring of music. And that's a very, very complicated, um, uh, long course to try to get control over the changing tempo, the changing colors of the musical score.